This is the sun. Well, we've already been to the sun. You know, for this one, Previously. I'm just gonna like go through my videos and just pick one. Oh yes, this is the best YouTuber I've ever seen in forever. Thank you, man. I've already looked at the ones on there. I'll look on the ones on here. Move all the planets to Mercury's orbit, see what happens. No, no, I like that one. We're gonna do that. All right, auto orbit so that it doesn't just destroy itself. Auto orbit, auto orbit, auto orbit. And now you go over here, Uranus, auto orbit. Finally, Pluto. Yeah, Pluto can have some fun. I forgot its orbit's like really drunk. Um, There's only so much I could do with the move tool because it's kind of stupid. Then why did I not just make a new empty simulation, summon Mercury around the sun, and then place all the planets in that same orbit? I'm so stupid. All right, well, that's the best I can do. They're all close to Mercury's orbit. Slow you down because all of that will just destroy itself immediately if I don't. Let's see what happens. Turn off trails, turn on orbits. Oh god, why is Pluto doing that? This might actually be a little stable. Speed this up a little bit. Pluto is just kind of being stupid. Yeah, this is actually stable. What the hell? It's like relatively stable. Nothing's getting flung. Let's see how everybody's doing on her. Oh, everyone's dead. That's very hot. Oh yeah, we could definitely see Jupiter from there. Hello. But that's not funny enough. Explode everything. Explode Jupiter twice. Yeah. It's more funny than oh god. All right, put a hundred habitable planets in the same orbit Earth has. That's that's fun. Let's do that. So we'll just have to spam a bunch of planets at roughly one AU. A bunch of habitable planet. Well, there's a chance when I place a rocky planet. It, it's just habitable so we could just do that and I don't know how many I've already lost track of a uh, hundred so I'll just put a bunch until I feel like stopping spam one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty sixty five seventy seventy five eighty five ninety ninety five a hundred Okay, so I'll put a little bit more than 100. That's fine. Now, let's lock in on Earth, just to make sure Earth doesn't die. Okay, it seems like everything's fine. Just give it a minute, it'll be chaos in a second. Speed this up a little bit. Okay, a few got launched from me doing that. Oh? No, I think we're fine. Speed this up like a lot. Oh, the Earth just got launched. No, it didn't. You go back. Okay, so this is just really cool looking. View, chart. Let's see how many of these are actually livable. We got uh, this thing. This looks like it could be, hold on. Visuals, all right, this one is not. What about you? Not you, you look sad. Visuals, are you vegetated? Not habitable. What the hell are you? You look very sad. I don't th think this one's habitable, but I'll try. No, nope, it's not. What about you? You look promising. Jesus Christ, all of these look like they should be livable because they're big blue balls. Aww. YouTube, I meant the planets. Okay, you're not habitable. What about you? You also look very promising. Nope. Just because it's a big blue ball doesn't mean we can live on it. Visuals, vegetation, city lights. Jesus, none of these are livable. Well, that's Earth. I got excited for a second. I'm like, wait, no, that's Earth. What about you, green looking? What's in your damn atmosphere? Oh, well, that's why. It has a lot of carbon. Holy shit, you would die immediately in there. Eh, probably not immediately, you get poisoned. What about you? You look very promising. <gasps> I found one that's habitable. This actually looks a lot like Earth. Yeah, if you see down there, there's city lights, so it's like habitable for us too. All right, finally found one. Jesus, what about you? You look bipolar. Yeah, I didn't think so. That has to be like the first naturally spawning habitable planet I've seen in this game. I've been looking for a long time. It just keep getting smaller now. Another one, is this habitable to us too? Yep, it's habitable to us too. All right, so that's two more habitable worlds from this. What about you? Big ol' habitable. Lots of land on this one. So out of literally like 120 planets that I spawn, only three of them other than the earth are habitable. And this is not accurate spawn rates. Most planets are not going to be blue like this. This is rigged. <laughs> and of course, with this kind of orbit, all of these are going to be lost eventually, so, you know. Okay, I actually like this. This is a challenge. Use a class O star being orbited by a class- My class O? I don't have a class O star. Whatever. Orbited by a class A and on that system, try to make it habitable. Okay, well, I don't have a class O star myself. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so, class O. I know they're, like, really big, but I need the most specifics. Okay, between 15 and 90. Alright, set you 50 so <laughs> It didn't like that I did that immediately. All right, well, let's just slowly do it then because you have to be a little turd about it. There we go, ignition. Oh, it's still getting bigger. Maybe I should leave it alone for a second. Now we're fine. Bigger. It, it ignited again. Oh, it just blew itself up. Ooh, you're pretty. I don't want to turn you into a star. You're going to be a planet. Yeah, this this one's gross. So I'm fine turning you into a star. Ignition. All right, I'm going to like speed this up. Let it settle what it wants to be real quick. Hold on. Set this to giga years. There you go. Now it's settled. There's like a certain point in which it like gets big again, but it re-crunches itself. There we go. There you go. 
That's when it does it. I don't know why. Okay, so it is now a blue-ish star. All right, please don't supernova. For the love of God, don't supernova. There we go. It's 50. That's an O star right there. All right, now what's a class A star? 1.4 and 2.1, so it's not, like, ridiculously big. We should just be able to set this to 2.1. It won't destroy itself. 1.8. Let's put it somewhere in the middle. Now, set that to mega years. All right, now it knows what it is. I believe that's stable. Okay, so that's the system. Oh, God. The little one has its own little habitable zone right here. That's funny. Okay, you said try to make a habitable world. I don't know if this orbit will be stable yeah that's not gonna be stable i don't know why this game does not like when you have binary stuff it just messes with all the orbits let's do this create berry center hey it works now please don't just get flung that is very annoying <gasps> it's stable kind of having a stroke but it's stable it's just the game being a little glitchy okay so what i want to do this should be able to work let's get a small moon yeah i feel like you could hold a planet now let's see if you can hold this guy it looks like you can and we're still in the habitable zone so it looks like this guy's the out too. Oh yeah, you are more than big enough to be habitable. Nice. Okay, so water, nitrogen. Looks like you already have an atmosphere of some sort. Oxygen. Stabilize, equal out, all that. All that fun stuff. Okay, and then set you to 0 0.8. Set you to 0 0.2. Now what's your atmospheric pressure looking like? Oh, we're already habitable. Visuals. What is happening there? A little hot. Turn you down. Okay, so it's just a little warmer than Earth. So let's turn that up a little bit. All right. Well, I did your task. I made a habitable world around a binary system like this because I figured out how to stop it from flinging everything. So you wake up in the morning, just a nice day. You see the giant, oh my God, that's so cool. The giant gas giant planet right there. This kind of reminds me of Pandora, except they're orbiting a yellow star. So maybe not. And I am not blowing this one up. This is actually cool. <laughs> Make the sun habitable? Okay, now I gotta think creatively of how this would realistically happen. Let's see here. For this to even be possible to happen, there would have to be like a black hole that sucks all its hydrogen off until its core remains, and then somehow the sun gets flung before it gets completely eaten. Once it gets launched, it somehow gets captured by another star, and then a rocky planet smacks into it, giving it a crust. So this is not impossible, but it is so goddamn unlikely to happen. Well, let's just assume all this happens. So let's do that. Oh, it just ate itself. Iron, set you to zero, and now you got a evaporated that's not nice uh where did you go save this object let's see if you still exist i don't know why it's doing this okay there we go now you actually exist okay it ate the other one that was just transparent and now it's just a big black core okay so save this all right now let's get the little sun we just made all right so now we got the little sun comets hit it get some water some oxygen turn you way down yeah that's a good ratio right there oh no because it used to be a star its surface is all out of whack so i can't really put water on here without it looking stupid okay so let's do some uh planetscaping there we go now it's showing just being kind of goofy okay well it's like really ugly but um there you go. There we go. It just took a minute for the city lights to turn on. There you go. We can live here, guys. I made the sun habitable. Anyways, die. Wait a minute. Some of the fragments just became... What the hell? All right, now what would happen if I made this fragment habitable? There we go. I don't have to mess with it. It's just being nice. There you go. Now you can live on the fragment I just blew up. Behold, the planet fragment. Wait a minute. What the hell? Did it live me blowing it up? Oh my god. The sun survived me blowing it up and now it's just depressed. Make the queso solar system. Bro, uh, I don't think I can make queso a star unless I threw a star at him. Let's make that happen. Launch the sun at queso. What the fuck? He's infinite mass. Okay, well, we're just gonna put a normal star. There we go. It's the queso system. Delete Jupiter. The moons will fly. All right, I'm testing that theory. Delete. I think the I'll just get captured by the sun. I don't know about them just flying. Oh, a lot of them went flying. And a lot of them just got captured by the sun. I was right. All right, so for this, I'm a little Good annoyed morning, at this. Everybody. Yeah, wrong. I'm very annoyed at this. In the ending, this is what I said. I want to take a break from this universe sandbox stuff. Okay, that's what I said. And then I said this. You can still go back to the other ones and comment your ideas, but don't do it here. And I guess none of you watched that part. <laughs> because the amount of video suggestions I got after telling you to stop is insane. I mean, why am I complaining? It boosted the algorithm and now I have and now uh th this is pretty good. But bro, bro, all y'all just left. Watch the whole video. Someone did make a video suggestion that was so goddamn good that I do want to do it. Oh, well this guy did watch the whole video and he just posted that anyways. <laughs>
crash 100 god pulsars into each other and then convert all those fragments into the full bodies and send Queso at the explosion. But Queso has the mass of 10 million Milky Way. Oh my god! Okay, I gotta count 100 god pulsars now. This might crash my game alone just from having 100 of these shits. <laughs> Ninety-nine, one hundred God pulsars, and then you said said queso at the explosion. Assuming my PC doesn't die from this, buddy, <laughs> buddy, I'm gonna need you. you. You know what you did last video? For the love of God, not again, bro. Y yeah, do that again, please. Go fuck your. Let's slow this down a little bit. Oh God, I can't even see what's happening. Speed it up. Oh shit, we've had a collision. We've had a lot of collisions. Holy. How is my PC doing this? Dude, hold on. I'm getting 50 FPS. The GPU is at... It's maxed out, guys. The CPU is at 20%. Only 20% of the CPU is being used to simulate this shit. Okay, never mind. Okay, now about 44%. Why are my frames getting higher? There's more shit! Why am I at 30 FPS when I'm zoomed out? That's playable! Okay, when I zoom in, that's not that bad. Considering what's happening, that's not that bad. Dude, alright, well... <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, okay, so now I gotta find him, Jesus. Alright, okay, so you need to stop this. 10 million Milky Ways. 10. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Ooh. Let's see if you can save the world, okay, so get him. Go get him, okay, so destroy. Destroy the explosion. Oh my god, he is shoving the entire explosion. I don't think you can eat it, but he's shoving all of it. Halt all velocities. So all of this should just get sucked into him. Maybe not. Oh god, it just made it worse. There we go. <laughs> Three FPS. Queso. No. Yeah, the game's glitched. It's just permanently a god pulsar on my screen. Okay, so come on. Come on. Let me select you, bro. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, Queso. I promise you. No. He lost all his mass! It ate him. Queso couldn't beat the Giga Nova. Dude, I think I just created a whole another universe. Oh my god. Okay, well, brother, I gotta tell you, that was the best thing I have ever done out of this entire series. Holy crap. Also, shout out to my PC, dog. Let's do a couple more. Not from this one, though, because I'm mad at you guys. Destroy everything with Queso. Well, I just tried to do that. It didn't work. It just ate him. Y'all really want me to put Queso in everything, don't you? Destroy the galaxy! In stupid ways. Feed Queso. Zero gal. Like All right, what did y'all say on this one? <laughs> Imagine if he explodes Uranus next. Fine, boom. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this video because I've ran out of ideas that I want to do. And I'm gonna start spamming stars everywhere so you guys actually pay attention to me when I'm speaking in the ending, okay? Okay. I'll say it again because I don't think anyone actually saw it. Please do not comment video suggestions on videos that are not related to Universe Sandbox. Like, don't tell me to turn the sun into a black hole on my freaking rabbits video. This might actually- Oh, God! You can handle that many god pulsars, but you can't handle a few super doubles? Jesus. And also, for now, I'm gonna stop doing the Universe Sandbox videos because I want to work on more content. Guys, I do more than this. <laughs> I have so many other videos. Like, check out my Ask Your Near series. Not saying you have to, but I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, so I will still be taking video suggestions for when I return to Universe Sandbox, because this isn't the end. This is still pretty fun to do. In order so I know you actually watched the whole thing, put a C in front of your comment. If you don't, I'm ignoring the suggestion. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that is all. The second Ask Your Near video is coming out on Friday. I put a lot of goddamn effort into it. Please check that out when it comes out. If you want to, I want it to I want it to blow up. Yeah, I, I want that video to get 10,000 views too. Why, why do these space videos keep getting 10,000 views, but these ones won't? So yeah, that is all. Have a good day, everyone.